What's up guys, it's Meg, and it's that time of the week again for our weekly Walker Talk, helping ease your Walker withdrawals one week at a time. How's it going this week, guys? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty rough not having The Walking Dead on. I, at least it's not seven months. I'm trying to stay positive. At least it's not seven months. Uh, just a little bit longer to wait. Countdown is on. Uh, this week on Weekly Walker Talk, we're doing our first ever q and I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and just have been really busy and just haven't made time for it. So here we are, we're finally doing it. I'm really excited. Before we get started, I have two quick updates. Um, one, in my last video, I mentioned that 66 of my videos, a lot of them had been uploaded by someone else on YouTube. Uh, so I put in copyright claims and I'm happy to say that within two days time, all of the videos were removed from YouTube. So way to go YouTube. It was really fast and I'm happy that it's all been taken care of. And the second one is if you didn't already hear, a portion of my reaction video to the mid-season finale was on Good Morning America a few days ago, and I didn't know it was gonna be on there. And all of a sudden, on Tuesday morning, um, a bunch of people were messaging me and hitting me up on Facebook, telling me, oh, I saw you on TV. And uh, I don't even know what to say. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> My clip was only on there for a few seconds, and It's Hippie Chick, another Walking Dead um, YouTuber, was also featured on there, and we were both so shocked. So apparently it was part of this Beth petition to bring Beth back. Um, first off, I've not signed any petition. I don't agree with bringing back a character that's clearly dead and clearly can't even come back as a walker, so I don't, I don't agree with that. But the petition has gotten so much notice, uh, national notice, that... Uh, Apparently, Good Morning America decided to pick a couple reaction videos and include them with their segment on the Beth petition. So, pretty crazy to be able to say, hey, I was on Good Morning America. Uh, my mom was really proud of me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put the link to the video if you wanna check it out down below um, in the description. So let's get started with Q&A. The first question comes from Dawn of the Walking Dead. Dawn says, uh, first off, I would like to say that you're doing great work here on YouTube and you should keep it up. Thank you very much, that's really sweet of you. Um, my question is, do you think that Noah is Heath from the comics? And it looks like she goes on to explain uh, the reasoning behind that. Uh, I, I definitely think it could be a possibility. I did not come to that conclusion myself, but also uh, it has been a while since I read that portion of the comics um, with Heath and, and how the group made it to Alexandria. Um, but based on Dawn's explanation here, it seems like it could definitely be a possibility. Um, we know that The Walking Dead TV show likes to recreate things from the comics where we have those iconic scenes, but they're put to us in a different way. And the group could quite possibly find Alexandria in a different way. Or, um, you know, Noah could definitely be Heath. We know that there's not, at least I don't think there's a Noah in in this same circumstance that's in the comics. So definitely a possibility. Um, I will keep you updated as to what I think once the second half of the season airs, but thank you for your question. The second question comes from uh, Jordan Brailsford asks, uh, top five female characters of all Walking Dead in the TV show, not the comics, and reasons why they're your top five. Okay, I probably should have read this before. Probably my number one Walking Dead favorite character right now is Carol. Uh, I just love her growth and I've always kind of felt for her, you know, she was kind of the, the weak um, living in her husband's shadow back in season one and then, you know, she's just grown into this amazing, powerful woman and I have always felt for her and I've always loved her. So she's definitely my number one. Number two would be Michonne. Uh, she is just, an amazing woman and she can wield that katana pretty awesome. Uh, I would definitely want to be with her in the Walker Apocalypse. Her and Carol, I think we would all survive pretty well. Um, <laughs> so that's one, two, three. Uh, I would say probably Beth because she has just been kind of that hope and the light and uh, just 
an overall pretty cool character for me. I always kind of liked how she brought that, you know, we never really saw her too much, but she brings that musical talent to the show and she kind of has a way of brightening up people's day and she was always so positive. Um, and also in this in this last season, the, the second half of season four and then this first half of season five, I've really grown to enjoy her character, not just because of her and Daryl, but just her in general. Um, I've really liked to see how she has not she survived on her own, you know, um, since she left Daryl. She hasn't had anyone protecting her except these hospital people, which we know are not really protecting her. Uh, so there's three, four, and five. I have to pick five? Uh, I would say... See, I know a lot of you would say Andrea. I just... I love Andrea in the comics, and I was not a big fan of her story at all on the TV show, so she's definitely not gonna make my list. I think I'm gonna say Lori for number four. I know she's also not a very well-liked character, but I enjoyed her, and you know, she gets a lot of flack for sleeping with Shane, but she thought her husband was dead. I feel like if anyone can find love or a little bit of happiness, after not only having your life ripped apart by the fact that there are zombies, you know, dead people coming back to life, but you can find someone to care about in the meantime, uh, and that will protect you, I I probably would have done the same thing. Um, but I really liked Lori. I was really sad to see her go. And then probably five is Judith, because I love Judith. I love babies. And the fact that she's still alive and surviving and we have no idea where her storyline is going is pretty amazing. So uh, those are my top five. Thanks for your question, Jordan. Uh, let's see, next question is from SP The Walking Dead 123. It says, if you watch season two deleted scenes, it shows the group going to the Vatos group and they are all dead and Daryl mentions they have been shot. Do you think the hospital people could have killed them all and taken their resources to create the hospital? Uh, I definitely think that could be a possibility. I don't know, I don't really remember where the Vatos group was in relation to the hospital, uh, but we know that the hospital people have been kind of moving out from Atlanta and exploring different areas and capturing people and taking resources and that kind of thing. So uh, a uh, I think it was a retirement home or a nursing home would definitely have a lot of the same sorts of supplies, bandages, things that you could potentially use in a hospital type situation. So. Definitely a possibility. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how quickly the hospital group uh, decided to go out and start recruiting people and taking supplies. I would think that the hospital would have quite a few supplies to last them that first year. So I'm not sure. Those deleted scenes were pretty cool, by the way. I really like seeing the scenes that were left out of the different seasons of The Walking Dead. It's kind of neat to see a different perspective that didn't end up in the show. Uh, oftentimes it kind of changes how you see an episode. This question comes from Gunnar Hicks. Uh, he asks, if you could bring back a dead character but only by replacing them with someone who is alive now, who would you pick? Example, I'd bring Beth back but have Tyrese go. Ooh, this is a really good question. Uh, in a heartbeat, I would bring back Herschel. I loved Herschel so much. I was so devastated when he was killed off the show. It just broke my heart. Um, I would replace him with, hmm. I would replace him with probably either Tyrese honestly to be honest with you uh, like you said or Carl I just I don't I've never been fond of Carl and he's redeemed himself a couple times for me but he just continues to kind of annoy me in general and I think it's kind of bad of me to say that I would kill off a kid on the show but I would definitely take Herschel in a heartbeat and give up Carl for sure um, and another part of that, I would also bring back Dale. He was one of my favorites and I was so upset when he was gone as well. And let's see, if I had to pick someone else to go, I would pick maybe Rosita or Tara. I'm not too fond of either of them. So thank you for your question. Here's a question from Steven. He says, hey Meg, another question for your Q&A. What other TV shows do you watch other than The Walking Dead? Uh, so I watched The Walking Dead. I watched Sons of Anarchy. Sadly, their series finale just aired this last week and it was devastating and yet beautiful. Um, Sons of Anarchy was a big part of my life. I watched it for all seven years that it played. Uh, 
I also watch Bitten on sci-fi because it is based off of a book by Kelly Armstrong, um, the Bitten series. It's kind of a werewolf um, book, but it's for adults. So it's not cheesy like Twilight or anything like that. It's definitely like an adult book about werewolves, modern day werewolves and uh, really awesome books. And so they made it into a TV show. Um, it, the author is based out of Canada. So the TV show started airing in Canada first and then um, sci-fi picked it up and it just finished season one, um, I think at the beginning of this year and season two is coming out, I think at the beginning of next year. So really excited to see that. Other shows that I watch but I'm not super into, uh, Grey's Anatomy, I've been watching that since the very beginning, but I can go a couple weeks without watching it and then catch up and I feel like it's kind of hit a plateau with me right now. Nothing about it really interests me too much. Uh, I used to watch Vampire Diaries, but that again has gotten pretty weird, so I don't really watch it. But yeah, my, my top three shows that I watch are The Walking Dead, watched Sons of Anarchy, I'm gonna have to find something new, and Bitten. Uh, if you guys know of any good shows, let me know. I don't have HBO though, so I can't watch Game of Thrones right now. And frankly, I'm just not super into it. I've tried, but I'm not. Um, anything else? Let me know. I see a comment here from Trendsetter74. It's not a question for the Q and A, but he um, said that, or tr I'm sorry, I'm assuming you're a he. I don't know. Trendsetter74 says, um, I didn't know you were a SOA fan, which is Sons of Anarchy. Too bad you didn't do reaction reviews for that show. Don't guess I could talk you into doing the series finale. Seriously, good job with these vids and thanks. Uh, and that is an interesting theory which I hadn't thought of. Uh, that was from my review from Coda. Uh, I am definitely a Sons of Anarchy fan, as I just mentioned. I did film myself for the series finale. Um, however, when I edited it, edited it and put it online, I forgot that the song that played at the end, it was a beautiful song and I left that song in the video and stupidly, of course, it's copyrighted. So um, I had to take the video down immediately or risk getting flagged. So I am working on fixing it and re-uploading it for you, Trendsetter. But um, I want to tell you guys, when I watched that finale, that was the most I think I've ever cried during a, a television show. I've never cried that much during The Walking Dead. It was beautiful, the ending, and yet awful at the same time. And it was just an amazing way to end a beautiful series. So um, hopefully that will be coming at some point. And if anyone else is a Sons of Anarchy fan, you know what I'm talking about. And I will try to get that up for you at some point. Right now, I'm not making it a priority. Here's a question from Facebook from Jason Scott. He says, who do you think will die before season five is over? Oh my goodness, I don't want anyone else to die. What are you talking about? Um, who do I think will die? You know, I've, I've thought if it wasn't Beth who died it, in the first half of season five, I kind of thought it was gonna be Carol because of all of the story that we've been getting on her lately and she's so conflicted right now that um, I keep thinking at any point it's gonna be her time to go because she's developed so much and, and her story is just, it's very interesting but it's kind of gotten to a certain point where you're like either they're gonna kill her off or they're gonna make her like the leader of the group or something because she's amazing and yet you keep thinking surely we can't be this lucky to keep her around for this long um i'm not sure now that she will get killed off in the second half i have always thought tyrese was gonna go soon um i just i just don't see him being around for a long time with the other powerful male characters that we have on the show right now um, or maybe like Tara or, you know, she's kind of this funny, like comic relief to the show. But then I feel like we also don't have a huge story on her as well. Um, so potentially she could go as well. I would say either Tyrese or Tara or I don't think Sasha's going to go anywhere because I really think that she's going to be taking Andrea's place in the comics. Although I don't think she's going to have a relationship with Rick. Um, who else? I don't really, I don't know. I don't know anything about filming that occurred in the, for the second half of season five. So I, I know a little bit about potentially them hitting Alexandria, but I haven't really, I haven't heard any rumors on who's dying or anything. And I've been staying away from any sort of online spoilers. I don't watch um, 
anybody's YouTubes that post spoilers generally anymore and I definitely don't go on Facebook or anything to any of the filming uh, sites that I used to so I don't really know I kind of need to see some previews I think for the second half before I can oh excuse me I'm dropping things before I can really tell you who I think is gonna die but I definitely think Carol has the potential Tyrese has the potential somebody like Tara maybe Rosita though I don't think Rosita would um, somebody like that could possibly go Anyways, thank you for your question. Kind of put me on the spot there. I didn't really think about any of the answers to these questions before I started this video. Here's one from Jenna Jacobs from Facebook. It says, question, if you had to pick four members from the current survivors that are alive right now to team up with if a zombie apocalypse actually happened, who would it be? Options, Rick, Carl, Daryl, Carol, Michonne, Noah, Tara, Rosita, Abraham, Eugene, Judith, Father Gabriel, Maggie, Glenn, Sasha, Tyrese. Okay, well, anybody who picks Father Gabriel or Judith or Noah is crazy. Um, ooh, my top four. Okay, Rick Grimes, Daryl Dixon, duh. Like, I can't not pick Daryl Dixon. Uh, Michonne and Carol. Yeah, I mean, I've gotta have the four most powerful people, I think, uh, to survive within the apocalypse. Or I would pick Abraham, maybe, instead of Carol. She's, Carol's pretty, um, she, seems like she can get out of situations really easily and she's very creative as we know from the termite episode but i think actually i would probably pick abraham instead of her so abraham rick daryl and michonne for sure and then i could just stand back and watch them fight off all the walkers you know and i'd be good <laughs> no, i'm kidding but uh thanks for that question that was a good one uh, and the very last question is from Chris from Facebook. It says, we all know how the hunter story went. In my opinion, they took the easy way out and lured people into their domain. We have seen that hunting animals is still a doable thing, but let's say it wasn't and you're down to your last resort, eating people. Would you be able to do it? Hypothetically, being that there is literally no other way to feed yourself. Would I be able to do it? You know, I am a really emotional person, if you guys don't know that about me already, so I honestly think that I would be too attached to the people I was with to be able to eat them and to kill them. Like, I feel like I would, I, I don't think I could, I really don't think I could do it. Unless maybe if they died first, I or if I hated them, maybe I could kill them and eat them, but I feel like the guilt would eat away at me. So I, I think so, I really don't think so. But I mean, that's a pretty tough question because people act crazy when, when you're starving to death and you, are, you hit that certain point, your logic and reason that you used to have kind of goes out the window. So it depends on how hungry I was when it came to that point. I'm thinking I might very well eat somebody uh, and you might not have those emotions when you are dying of hunger. So. Uh, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for all your questions. This has been fun um, I probably should have thought about my answers a little bit before I filmed this But I hope you like this if you want me to do more Q&A's let me know in the comments below and uh, If you guys haven't already followed me on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash weekly walker talk The link is also in the description So you can follow me on there for updates and see when I post new videos and all of that good stuff We can also chat there as well. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'll see you later. Bye